Is this thing working? Hey, yeah. Hey guys, hey, hi. Yes, I'm back after uh, a little bit of a break because I, um, I've just been really super busy. It's been crazy, it's been busy, and I didn't get a chance to uh, post a video. But here I am with A25 video. I'm really excited, I wanna thank Native Instruments for sending me the A25 to check out. I'm sorry that this video is a few weeks late. I initially had an issue with um, um, getting the software on my computer and then I just had a time issue and yeah, I jumped into Tractor Pro 3 had come out so I sort of jumped into those videos but nonetheless, here I am now. I'm um, gonna talk about the A25 because I'm really excited about it and I keep talking about it but yet I haven't done a video on it. Yeah, so that's it. Um, you know, it's pretty awesome, pretty cool, pretty small. Uh, you're getting a lot for your money. Um, so let's take a closer look at it. And this is the Complete Control A25 keyboard by Native Instruments. I wanted you to be able to get an idea of the size, look, uh, and feel of this. And of course, that means putting down random objects next to it so that not only does it aesthetically appear to be very cool, but uh, maybe puts the size into relationship as well. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna also put down um, an Akai MPK Mini so that you can get an idea of size here. So the Akai is a lot smaller. Akai, this this thing can sit, fit in your back backpack very easily, not so much with the complete control. It's a little bit chunkier. So just general relationship and size there. I also wanted to compare it to the iRig keys. Uh, this has a sound card in it, so it is a little bit bigger than the, the Akai. Um, it has a full-size key bed and it's a nice unit, but it's still a little bit smaller than the A25. The A25, is it's a solid build. It's pretty chunky. I mean, it is pretty big. An idea that I had was just to compare it to the Machine Micro 2, just to get an idea of what this setup might look like if you're carrying both of these around, if you wanna have a keyboard with you, and if you wanna have the pads on the Micro. So there you go. Wanted to take a, back, a look at the back of this. You have the ability to have a lock, a foot pedal, a USB connection, obviously. There is no iOS type of device connection, which would've been really cool if that would've been some sort of option but it's not slanted on the sides key bed is really nice again this thing is built solid it feels really good okay this is the unit i'm talking about it's the uh, a25 so if you're not familiar native instruments came out with a few new keyboards very recently uh, officially i think these were just released at the beginning of the week and they have a 25 49 61 key semi-weighted um, keys keyboard and this is like more like uh, an economy type of line in the sense that I hate to call it economy because it's it's really like an awesomely made keyboard uh, but uh, economy in the sense that you know in terms of the other con complete control line and you've got the screens and you've just you've got more going on this is sort of uh, you know just you don't get as much because you're not getting the LED lights and you're not getting like a really big screen. You're getting like a small browser. Uh, but overall, like it's still, I mean, $149 at this price point amazes me, especially since I just showed you before uh, the other units that you, you know, in a similar class, but not even a similar class for uh, just a little bit less or a similar amount. Anyway, so okay, let's get to this. So this is the A25. Uh, this is like the information, right? Get your hands on on with your music and just really cool stuff. So, um, oh, look at that. They raised the price. I'm going to tell you why this happened. And I've been saying, oh, 149, 149. And they just recently raised the price. And this is actually really interesting because this is happening for a lot of companies that uh, have their items manufactured in China. The price has gone up substantially to get goods to the United States right now because of everything that's going on with the the trade stuff and Trump and just all the craziness that's going on here. Anyway, so I heard that a lot of companies would have to raise their prices on some of their hardware to make up for the fact that it's costing them more to make the hardware now. So this was actually 149, it's 159 now. All right, we gotta take that, uh, 
take that back, some of the things I said earlier in this video. Wow. Okay, cool. It's only 10 bucks more. You're still getting a ton of for your money and that's like not Native Instruments fault. It's just that, you know, it's costing them more to make, right? So it's probably actually, they're charging you 10, 10 more dollars. I guarantee you um, that still doesn't make up for how much extra their cost is right now with all this crazy stuff going on. All right. So you buy that and then you have some, you know, you have some options in terms of, of like, if you want to update. So with this, you're going to get machine. Okay. Um, it's the machine essentials. It says you get Monarch, the gentleman, reactor prism, Scarby Mark one and more, uh, is the more down here. I'm not really sure if it's not. Yep. Here's the more. Complete control software, you get contact reactor, guitar rig, and you get a $25 voucher to spend in the online shop. So that's pretty cool. All right. But what I want to show you is this. So for, for $99, you can upgrade to complete 12 select. So with that, you get more instruments, you get more sounds. Um, and it's pretty cool, right? You're, you're getting a lot with complete select. So don't put it down. Um, you get in he says you get an e-voucher for $25. So if that's true, you got $50 worth of e-vouchers right now that you can use for an expansion pack. But not only do you get all these extras here, Drum Lab, you also, <laughs> you also get True School, Velvet Lounge, and Deep Matter. So you get several expansions and that's what we're going to work from here. We're going to go over, I'm going to show you Velvet Lounge. So this would be one of the expansions that you would get. Uh, Smooth Future Soul. So let's make a beat using this, uh, see what we can come up with. And this again would be you buying the keyboard. So that's 159 and you upgrading to complete select. Um, you'll be able to get this expansion. So, you know, for 260 bucks, you're on your way to learning how to produce, make music if you haven't already, um, and just really go wild. So let's check this out. I've got machine open right now. Um, so let's start with, what are we going to start with? Let's just start with like our pads. I think that's like, I mean, most people start with their melodies, but I feel like maybe I can like work off of something if I have my pads or my chords, chords going. So let's go up here. And like I said, I'm going to pretend that, that what I have is Velvet Lounge. So let's go down, let's pick Velvet Lounge and you should see that there are some options here. Wow, look at that. So you have some options in massive, massive presets. These are the ones that come with Velvet Lounge. So let's click on synth pad and see what our options are. And granted, I could be using the browser here. Um, you just, you can go through all these in the with the browser. It's a really quick way to preview, preview different sounds. Of course, my computer, which I need to upgrade, is <laughs> getting stuck a little bit. So I like that one. Gross. Is that supposed to be like gross pad? I don't really know what it is. So you get a lot of sounds with you, as you can see with the Velvet Lounge. So let me go back to this one. I like this one. So I load that up. And um, yeah, oh, that's the other thing. So let me pick my scale, right? So it's really as easy as shift scale. And then I just have to pick what scale I want. So how about we do something, I don't know, a little dark, like an E minor. All right, I totally just scrapped the beat that I was going to make on the A25. Um, it's just late and I, I, I had like beat block, like it wasn't, nothing was coming out and what was coming out just sounded like crap. So here's a beat that I made earlier today when I wish I was recording and this was with the A25 as well. Um, it, 
these sounds, just so you know, are taken from wherever. So they're not necessarily included in the complete select and the expansion packs that come along with that. I actually don't know what they're from, uh, but uh, I just want to be transparent with that, that we were talking about using Velvet Lounge and these are not from there. But I was digging this. I was digging the uh, melody that I had. And so, yeah, let's take a listen. I, I made this one earlier today. <laughs> I like this drum kit too. lead comes back in. I didn't really like it there. And actually, uh, I should tell you uh, that actually some, I think a lot of these sounds, I don't know for sure. I think it's from this Midnight Sunset, which is the new expansion that hasn't necessarily been uh, released or or mentioned on the Native Insurance website, but it just showed up in my Native Access, so I downloaded it. And it is supposedly like... Um, like an 80s vibe so you can tell from that kit like it sounds really 80s but yeah so I'm digging this bee um it still needs a lot of work obviously but it's just something that I could show you that sounded good and sorry I didn't make a beat for you right here but it was just it was bad it, it was not working out well so I needed to scrap that um but yeah um so if you haven't checked out my beats I do have a SoundCloud it's Blake Hart Beats um so I'm on SoundCloud I'm on YouTube I post my music there and I just I'm spending like I, I spend a good few hours for every song that I make it, that's the amount of time it takes me as a beginner now so that's yeah that's what it is and I guess I could get into live streaming and that might be something I start to do in the future but I just haven't felt really comfortable doing it lately plus I'm waiting to get a stronger computer I, I think my computer right now where it's at I just don't know if it's going to be able to handle it so that's part of it as well I haven't tried but I just yeah I'm not really sure what's going to happen so I've been sticking with the videos this unit definitely has its its place in the world and I think it's going to make a big impact on uh, people who want to get out there and make music. So thank you Native Instruments for sending this unit to me. I really appreciate being able to have this on my desk here. I, I think it's yeah it's this is big this is big and I know I keep sounding like a broken record and I keep saying I'm a broken record but I think of all the young people who are going to have an opportunity to get into making music. I didn't have these opportunities. I mean, to think of paying 260 and really, you know, having both the um, the MIDI keyboard that has this amazing functionality and getting uh, software that has like a ton of, of sounds in it and, and uh, synths and, and the, the drum lab and just everything you get. Uh, it's, it's truly amazing where we've come in the past 20 years. And I know many of you guys haven't seen that, right? You haven't seen it firsthand. But for those of us who have and have just even seen where we've come in the past 10 years with technology and the, and the prices becoming lower and lower and lower to obtain the, the ability to use that technology it blows my mind and I'm really excited to see what people are going to do with that. Are they still going to be scared to try something new or are they just going to get out there and dive in? And, um, you know, you're never too old to learn something new. And I tell myself that daily. And I think that's what really just keeps me moving forward. I don't ever want to regret, uh, regret something down the, down the road that I say, oh, I wished I should have tried that. I wish I should have done that or I wish I should have stuck with that. So that's why I keep pushing along here and I keep trying to become better at this. Uh, 
every day, every chance I get, because it's a dream of mine and I want to be really good at it. So again, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next video. Oh,